Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's iPhone app review. And today we're taking a look at Everest Hidden Expedition. Now, you may think that this is going to be a game about going to Everest. And in a roundabout way, it is. You actually start at the base of the mountain, but then you discover there's a whole adventure you need to go on before you can go and climb Everest. And basically, that adventure consists of several different scenes in which you're trying to find a list of items. Think of it as a grown-up version of the mini page in which you're looking for hidden items. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see, for example, we're looking for a drumstick, spear, hook. It's going to be a little hard for you to see in this video, but uh, obviously you can zoom in on the images I've done. But there are several, several things hidden on the screen beyond this list here. And so what happens is in some different rounds, you might return to the same scene, but you're looking to find different things that are hidden in the scene. For example, up here is a set of pliers, but we're not looking for a set of pliers here. And if you get stuck, you can click on the hint button and it'll create a circle around one of the items that you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for a drumstick and there is a drumstick hidden right there. So you go through and you find the list. Now at the very bottom you'll see these different triangles here. These represent other teams that you're competing against within the game to find your items first. These are computer generated. These aren't actually online players, although that would be pretty cool. But you go through, you find the different items, and you go from scene to scene. One thing to note about Everest, it's a 99 cent application, which I think is a fair price for the app, but it is a very, very large application. It's 117 megs, which is about 10 to 20 times larger than most iPhone apps. So you want to make sure you have enough space on there before you give it a shot. If you like this kind of game, I think you'll really enjoy Everest. I will warn you, it's difficult to play unless you're, you're sitting still. You're not going to want to try to play this on the uh, train while you're going to and from work. For the Digital Lifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie. If you like this review, please help us to make more by going to the Digital Lifestyle.tv and click on one of the contribute buttons below the video player. Thanks. Thank you.